Hello. Hello. Um, you were relating a lot of this to um, the astrology that's going on at the moment. Is that something, is this just a case of cashing in because it's a good moment or is it going to be up and down or what do they think on that? I just said, is Helen, it's always a good, it's always a good time and a good moment to tune into the planets. What I'm hearing from my guys is very much the same that you have to learn to work with them. It's like working with the tools that you have. So it's not about stepping back and thinking, oh, this month, the where the planets are, it's going to be a rough month for me. So I think I'm just going to hide for a little bit. It's not about that. It's very much about working with the planets and what's going on. Now, at the moment, there is a big shift in planets, but every month seems to be a big shift in planets and moving in and, you know, rejiggling people's energies. And depending on where that particular, you know, planet is connected with your zodiac sign and the energy. And, you know, I've been, you know, I'm not an astrologer. I've said this before, but I connect to their personalities and I've been really tuning into each and every of the personalities that keep coming in. And, you know, like now it's very much I'm tuning to their energies and like, whoa, but it's like having to learn work. Well, OK, thank you. They just showed me. It's like a little the, again, they're going to use this, the sailing ship, getting a wind from one area, like gusting in and your sail moving. It's like the wind's representing like a planet coming in and blowing you at full strength with the planet with its energy. It's like the wind coming in and blowing your sail. You know, it's not about them pulling down. Well, it's, it depends on how rough the sea is, but it's about re, you know, moving. I mean, if you're going to head straight into it and like a bulldozer, oh, they're talking about a ball and a Chinese shot. That must be Taurus then. Um, so you've got to work with it. You've got to be aware of it. It's about knowing that okay, I could be feeling like this for many reasons. You know, we've got the human factors. I could be more sensitive at the moment because I know that where this you know planet is in my zodiac sign, it could be this is what's creating these issues. If you know that, then it's about them working with it. Have it as a friend in the sense of, I won't make those decisions this month or I'll work with it in a different way. But what they're saying is it's very much with, you're going to have planets moving around the universe and the galaxy. Everyone's always going to be um, affected by them in what they're coming in. But it is dependent, like I think it is dependent on particular planets what coming in at the same time and where they're lined up, of course. But they're saying it's just about feeding into it, being aware of how it can be making you feel. But using it to your benefit, okay, they're saying this again, very much as in the information you keep telling me at the moment is that the feminine energy that's sweeping the planet, you know, that big wave of feminine energy coming in at the moment because it's to create the balance on the planet this time, this masculine and feminine energy because things have changed. And by the sensitivities on the planet, by, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I saw an acupuncturist this week and she said, oh, your yin and yang is really out of balance. Your yang is the masculine energy and it's all about doing and you you keep doing and you're not taking time out for yourself. And like, oh God, I sound like a hypocrite. I keep saying this to my clients. I must do this. I must do this. You know, and then it's been crazy. I've been like, you know, the bath is one of those feminine things for me as in taking time out for myself. So feminine energy is all about taking time out for yourself. It's about, you know, really nurturing your soul. And this is for men and women. It's not, you know, gender specific or anything, but I'm, I'm you know, getting in touch with my energy. And like, you know, I was just saying a little while ago, I bought these beautiful flowers for myself. And it's just like, wow, I haven't done that for over a year. And tuning into that and working with that. I mean, I've been crying for no reason. I'm sitting in meditation. I've just been sobbing because it's trying to get that balance back again. So whatever planets are in focus and what's coming in or whatever, again, they just said whatever, you know, this is my terminology, whatever crap's going on for you, basically, you've got to learn to work with it. You know, you, you, you can't sort of hide under that duvet. It's like you've got to work with it. You can't sort of say, OK, I give up, I surrender. It's about, again, that self-development, that personal development, that expansion of oneself. You know, if I think of, and you know, this did happen going back years ago, you know, when, you know, I was, you had depression so bad and a lot of people do have depression. And for a while you do need to go into your little crystal cave and sort of chill out and have that time for yourself. And, you know, you have to work through it because, you know, I've been hearing again lately from a couple of clients who've, you know, they've lost loved ones to suicide and, as a psychic medium, I had someone come in the other day and 
she was, I can feel it now, I can remember it so well, but you know, she was a young lady opposite me and um, you know, she, she said someone had passed over on the other side and he had researched how to take his own life because he just didn't understand or how he could help himself. And you know, and he did pass over by taking his own life. And on the other side, he came through and he said, he just didn't know how to handle it. He didn't know what he could do he just, just to change things. And so it should never get that bad, you know? It, it, you know, to hearing his whole story. I mean, for her, it was comforting in the sense that in the morning he'd seen her kick her toe on the bed. And he said, oh, I saw you kick your toe. She laughed, I don't know how you know that. She said to me, I went, well, he's just telling me, you, you know, I'm a medium, hello. And then I said, you sing in the shower. Awfully, he said, and she couldn't stop laughing. And she went, well, that's, anyone can say that. Loads of people sing in the shower. And I went, and he gave her exactly the tune. And I was, I told her this is what the tune was. You know, there was things that he said about uh, chewing gum or bubble, it was bubble gum, hubba bubba, that was it. He'd unwrapped all these hubba bubbas and he was putting them in his mouth. Now, this is him on the other side, the deceased person, right? Um, he was showing me that he was putting hubba bubba, the little cube things in his mouth. And I was like, I don't think I can really share that with this individual, but you know, I'll tell her what I'm seeing. And he said, no, it's really important, you need to share it. So I said, does this make any sense to you? And she said, oh my God, we used to do this as kids. And she said, we did this a few days before he passed. We had a, a joke, we was FaceTime each other and he was putting hubba bubba in his mouth and I was doing the same thing and we were chewing bubble gum and blowing bubbles. I mean, these people in their thirties, I mean, hey, I'm 52, I do the same thing. But, but it was so nice that even though he was in spirit, not even though, he was in spirit and he was communicating with her. And it was just literally didn't have the tools or he couldn't find the tools when he was alive to help him to get through. And that was that his journey. Now, gosh, how do I say this? He's going to be coming back again and having to face the same issues. So you might, you know, think that you're avoiding them in this lifetime. But believe me, I hear very much so that you end up coming back and facing the same issues. So it's not a cop out. You can't sort of decide to leave and then that's it. You've gone through that lesson or that journey. You haven't really you do come back and do it again. So yeah, working with the planets, they're not going anywhere. There's a shift, there's always a reshuffle of energy and planets, but you've just got to be aware of how you're feeling and just work with it. That's all you have to do. You know, if you find out, you know, this is not the month for you to do all your financial stuff or legal stuff, then don't do it. But check in with an astrologer. I'm not an astrologer, but definitely those planets are gonna make a difference. But at the moment, the feminine energy coming into the planet is gonna make lots of people tearful. It's going to really connect you sensitivity, sensitivity, I don't even know, yeah, that's a word. Um, and it, it's going to really affect individuals quite a lot. It's a powerful energy coming in and it needs to come in right now. So that is another energy force that's coming in and it will make some people feel quite wobbly and connected. And I can't lie, it's, it's you know, with myself and hopefully not my heart more. And my heart really wants to have protection around it at the moment, but allowing my heart to feel sensitivity at the moment and working the feminine energy, you know, it's creating that balance. We all need balance. I hope that answered your question. I know they go off into one sometimes. I do try and rein them in, but they just felt they needed to share that information. 